Yep, I'm there. <laughs> I'm there. Let me know if this sounds better or not. If it's going to be terrible, I guess I'll have to just stop. Uh, let me know how the sound is. Can you hear me? Think you can hear me? And this one will go on the bottom. Yeah, you can hear me. So let me know if, if it's better. Hopefully it's better. You hear me fine now. Right now it's all good. Okay. All right. Good. Well, let me know then. No, oh, it's weird. Like I said, our internet has been not that good today at all. And I'm right next to my modem, so I don't know. So far better. Okay, good. Very good. Um, all right, there we go. Better, good. All right, good. Much better. <laughs> Thanks, Linda. All right. So what we're going to do now, let's see. I'm going to take um, the just pick should have opened all these beforehand. Much better get. <laughs> this one is the heavy watercolor paper. So the one I just did, the glittering one, you won't need. This one's a smooth operator. This is the one good for stamping. And I wanted to get some vintage papers too, so I'll have to that I'll just pull a few out right now so that we can do a couple sheets anyway at least this one is a dark art one which is a black paper and then next week I think we'll do some jelly plating so we can get some backgrounds for um, these. So we want black. So I'm going to pull out one of these. And you can see it's folded. So it's like a double, a double page spread. See that? So that's the black. And then it comes with one of these nice little, one of her um, paper holders. You can see that there. Oops. You can see it there that they fit into nicely. Did you get to play with any of yours yet, um, Patty? Patty got the levitation one the, or the window pane one, the uh, vellum one. So here's the uh, thicker one. This is like good for markers, alcohol, uh, ink. There's that. This one is the aquaculture, which is the watercolor paper. This is a heavy one. All right, so we have that. Let's pull out one of the vellum ones. Sandy, anybody I missed? Uh, let's see. Let's do the vellum. And I do want to ink on one of the vellum ones. And then I'm not going to like bind them in yet. I think I'll wait until I have like. And then here is the one with the the vellum sheet. You see that there. And this vellum is 73 GSM, whatever that is, I'm not sure. Perfect for pens, drawing, layering, tracing, or um, layer cake paint. All right, so we have that, we got that, and that. This will be the back. Oh, wait, this here. This will be the back cover. We'll have that there. And now we want to start with the 
I don't know if you can see, you can probably see some of the, yeah, there you go. You can see the glitter in that. It's not real shocking, but it's just nice every time you like. When you see it looks pretty much like that, you don't really notice the um, glitter, the shimmer. And then when you move it, you actually get to see some of it, which is cool. All right, so this is what we're going to do. I'm just going to cut this really quick so you can have an idea of what I'm talking about. So what I want to do is, let's just start with this. And I'll have to cut it better, but I'm just going to rough cut it now. I'm not going to have any of that white showing, but just so that you can see what I want to do. And then on the other side, we can have used a stencil and then paint that like a different color. Can't get really close in there yet. Hold on. And then I would trim up to here probably, but I just want to show you what I'm what I'm trying to do. <laughs> My gosh, and did you watch, get a chance to watch Pam Studio? Um, they got new stencils. Did you see that, Patty? <laughs> oh, my gosh. I like the raven. They have a, a bird, I think, and it's a raven. There. So you can see now what I'm talking about. So we have that. So this is going to get put on here like this. And I need, what do I need? I need, what do you call it? Uh, like an embossing thing. Where is it? Mm. You're afraid to look. <laughs> um, here we go. So we want this. And that hand probably, I'm going to have to do something with that probably. Maybe I'll put a piece of like clear acetate. We'll see. But, um, that goes right there at the end. So I wish I had my other, my other, what do you call it? I have the ruler, the one that's more, um, has a T like, so I can get it perfectly straight. Hopefully that's, hopefully that's straight. <laughs> what I'm going to do is, actually, I don't want to, I don't want to crease that underneath, which could probably happen. So I'll just put this up. that there. Welcome back. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Dar. Oh, it wasn't straight. Completely straight, but close. Alright, so we have that one. And the next one going to be, what do we say, this one, right, oh no, the middle one, so this will be the next one, so we're going to have to cut that part out, right okay, I'll probably put them on a, a rock, some type of rock. I was watching, um, well, I've been on Netflix and watching, uh, it's called The Gift. And uh, it's an archaeological, like, dig, and uh, they find these different symbols. <laughs> and I'm, like, hooked on it now. 
And then I watched a guy on YouTube. Uh, what is his name? Uh, Brendan Brannon, beyond Brannon or something like that. And so he actually um, went to Egypt and he went actually uh, behind the pyramid where you wouldn't normally go. And then he um, actually had to pay the guards, you know, guards will take you um, to like places like tourists aren't really supposed to be. And uh, he had like a translator and it was kind of scary. I think it was scary because the guard had a like a machine gun, you know, and he's telling him he doesn't know English. So he's telling him like to come here. I'll show you this. And he took him to a place where he couldn't uh, record. They, he let him take pictures, but he couldn't uh, tape there, whatever it was. And then um, at the end, of course, you know, he wanted money and he wound up giving him, I think he said 200 200 pounds to him and then there was a translator guy that was there and he gave him 200 pounds so what's that like joan it's like over 500 dollars right and then the guy still wanted more money and i'd be like oh my god i would be scared to be in a situation like that where he's actually got a gun and you know <laughs> but it was interesting how he was able to um show you like different corridors that uh i'm going to that they went behind yeah right it's over like five hundred dollars and the guy still wanted more so see here we're going to put this next one mm, i think maybe we'll put it should we put it close close like that maybe and um and it's a shame that we're all the cubby holes like he took us to um hi paula um he took you to like you know they have like these he climbs over like rocks and stuff like he paid for a ticket but the guy told him he was only allowed to go to a certain point but there really isn't any um signs that say do not enter you can't go this way so he proceeded to go all over the place and um shoot i moved it hold on uh let me use one of my things here He, um, so he got to take you into some of those places and, um, a couple of them had actual, um, Julie, um, paintings, you know, hieroglyphics, um, it was really cool, which you you know, you wouldn't have seen otherwise if that guy didn't, if the, uh, security guard didn't let him go in there. It was interesting, but the, what I was going to say is that his, um, it's a shame because a lot of those cubby holes are um, filled with trash. Oh my gosh, you see all the plastic that's there um, and all the garbage, it's really a shame. So in his other video, I only watched two of his videos, his other video, he was like so upset um, that there was so much garbage in, um, in those areas. And so we happened to find a black a bag that was nearby. So he said, I'm gonna I have to, it's just driving me crazy. He says, I have to clean up this one little area. So he goes there and he cleans it all up. So he's carrying the bag, you know, to throw in the garbage, you know. Hi, hi, Devin. And all of a sudden the security guy comes and asked him what he's doing. I guess the security guy thought maybe he found a relic and that he was trying to hide it and um, you know, take it with him. So he's trying to tell him, it's just trash. You know, I just wanted to clean up the trash. And the guy's like, no, 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 you're not going anywhere with that bag. <laughs> just, just leave it right here. <laughs> and uh, and I, I felt sorry for him because I thought he really was going to get in, you know, like in big trouble. All right. So here it goes. Here's this other one. So see how cool that is? And we have different, so we'll have different layers too. So we might be able to do something there. So when you turn it, it'll be like this and like that. Cool. Oh, remind me, I have a giveaway to do before we leave today, too. I'll have to get them. I forget what I did with them. Oh, they're over there. All right, so now we have this one. I love this sideboard lady. Oh, that's Sophia. Oh, my gosh, Sophia. I, you do a lot of art. <laughs> she does a lot. All right, and so now this one. This is cuffy. Like I said, I'll do a better job when I'm just doing a rough for now. And he was kind of cute. <laughs> Not cute, but I mean, you know, he was worried about, you know, all the trash and, 
he's like he wants to know all the secrets <laughs> it's like because i watch uh, josh gates i love when he goes to uh egypt and when he goes to all those places because you know he gets in places where you wouldn't be able to see you know <laughs> This guy's got to have some type of staff, too. Josh Gates is all he is. Oh, I was so mad. He was um, here um, probably about 35 minutes. You could have got, gone to see him. And it was like the night of, or like I saw it on Instagram that day, and it was like already sold out. <laughs> but he was here in Jersey. Yeah. It would have been cool to see him. And then I don't know how much of this I will cut, but let's. All right, so we have that and that. We can't tell your David. We can't tell him, huh, Dar? Drones. Tell him what up all the garbage that's there. It's really pitiful the way that is. Oh, look how cute that looks. <laughs> So, let's see how far do we want to go. That's that one. Still want to be able to, so let's say about like that. And you think you could get really close to the pyramid. Um, and like he said, the, where there's a gate, there might be like a gate. You can't go past this point. But he says if you just walk around, you'd be able to go in back of the place. <laughs> oh, let's try to get this straight. I've always wanted to go to Egypt, but I should have done it when I was younger. I don't think there's any way I could do that now. The sea was climbing over rocks, and the sand was very, had a lot of rocks in it. And, uh, hi, Travis. How are you? So, it's kind of, I kind of missed my, I think, missed my opportunity to, to be doing that. Oh, where is it? Well, I've seen all that, um, all the Egyptian and hieroglyphics and all that stuff. It's fun. So I want to do like a big black cat with all the jewelry on there. Um, so we'll do a couple things. All right, so now this one will go inside here. Wow, that doesn't that look cool? So we feel like this. Hi, Barbara. It'll go like that. And then let's see how far it sticks out of our piece now. So we'll have this. So it's not too bad. I only have to cut maybe, maybe like a half an inch. I'm not going to cut anything yet. So that'll be like that. Don't look at that page. <laughs> That's not the right page that goes in here. Where's the back? Where happened to the, there we go. I'll put this piece. I'll put this piece in here for now. Although this piece would look good against this part here. Look, that one against that. That looks good, doesn't it? <laughs> Although I wish it was facing the other way. So if I did, maybe even if I did something like this, where you have to open this up. If we open it up like that, and then you would have that to share like that. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. I love that. I think that was this. So this was just a piece of scrapbook paper that I had. And um, 
<laughs> okay. I'm glad you're here. Um, and it already had this cosmic thing in the back. And so, uh, yeah. So I think that would be cool. We just did that. So maybe I would leave this. I could fold this half inch like that and then use that as a, a flip like that. The little Steve Martin did King Cut. <laughs> and then I always like the other one was it the uh, Egyptian, uh, the girls who did that um, Walk Like an Egyptian. Oh my gosh, I love that song. All right, so yeah, I'm liking that too. So, all right, and then I have, we have the window pane one. So look how cool this would be behind here. To see that through, to see that through there. There it is. Not the bangles. I don't know. Was it the bangles? I don't know who did it, but walk like an Egyptian. I like that. <laughs> um, and then. I have these two. I got these off of eBay. I'll show you these. <laughs> this this one I'm, I just did with the three um, Egyptians. That is a Carolyn Duby uh, stencil. You can see that there. That I cut those out of. And then this one I got off of eBay. Look how cool this one is. Um, this is the woods I showed you that from Stencil Girl. Let's put some beetles in here. I'm thinking about doing some big beetles with um, iridescent wings and stuff. I think that would look cool in here. Uh, let's see. Let's do, let's see if I can show you what this is. So there's this one. You can see that. The hieroglyphics. I love that. Oh, those are the bangles. <laughs> You'll learn. <laughs> and then this one I got, which is really more um, like Mayan or, <clears throat> but um, it's like a calendar. You see that there? Oh, I got that one off of um, eBay. But I think that, if we did that, uh, let's see, maybe if we sprayed, We sprayed the vellum. Well, I can't spray the vellum, but put ink it and then have that coming so that you could see the cat behind there. Let's do that, or we could do these, the hieroglyphics. <clears throat> Maybe this one. I'm trying to think. What can I use for the vellum? Um. Uh, I know I have too many ideas, right? <laughs> like I don't know where to go. <laughs> um, all right, so let's see. And this, let's do. I think this would be cool with some. Maybe this one with the gold. Maybe gold on there. But then what else could we put? Oh my gosh, Patty's doing so good. I could only get my knee to like 90. She's already gotten to like 96, which is awesome. All right, let's see. So we have this. And we have another watercolor paper. So let's put that. I'm thinking I want to keep the black in the middle so I could do like a two page layout if I want to. I want to keep the black in the middle. I want to get some vintage paper too. So if we have that and that, and then maybe the black, well, this would still give me, we could probably do that because it would be black on here. What would be on the other side? We'd have vellum, so we could do something on here. Yeah, I think I'm going to keep it like that. And then the white. Where should we put the white? This is bright white. <clears throat> Maybe the white on the outside. 
what I'll do is I'll get um, some vintage paper, maybe put the vintage in here. I don't want to make it too thick. What do we got here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hi, Dorothy. Anybody I missed? All right, so, so if we did that, I think I'm, I like, I'm thinking I'm going to keep the, um, keep this part, part out like that. Because I can put a piece here and then that will, I also have some gold. Um, there's so many ideas with the Egyptians. I also got this card of Daddy Cleopatra. I have that. And then I have this big stamp, too, which is kind of like Egyptian ish. <laughs> Hi, Sophia. <laughs> Why am I? So let's see what else do I have in here that we can use. Oh, I do have some vintage paper, music paper. I have some of this. Is this a whole sheet? Oh, yeah. So let's see where we could put that. Should we put it here on the first page? Or should I put it in between? In between this one and this one. I think I like it on the first one. You love that stamp? That's a um, Carabella one. So we have that and that going so far. Um, I'm looking for I have one with gold paper I stamped. I have this. It's not like it's long enough. But this on the edge, can you see that? The gold on the edge there. Hey, Kathy. I'm getting my Egyptian girl on. <laughs> so then I, we could either, I don't know, maybe put something in here with her in there. Or maybe I could do the black cat. All right. So we'll keep that. So I think that's good for a signature. So that would be like one signature. What I think I want to do is do two signatures. So it's good. I love her. She's like my favorite girl. You can see there's even glitter in her hair. There's glitter everywhere. <laughs> She's just full of glitter. And her eyes, her eyes are like so glittery. They're what? <laughs> She's just a glittery little Egyptian girl. <laughs> I have to look for this stamp. I must, I don't know where. I have another stamp. But I don't think that's this. No. But here's another um, from uh, Chow Bella. <clears throat> this one is called, oh, it's not, it doesn't have a name. A Walk Like an Egyptian. <laughs> Walk Like an Egyptian. So we can do this too. We can use that. But I like this so far. So that's one signature. And then I want to find, um, let's see. Let's see what we have left in, this, in my patty little um, strips. <laughs> oh, that's better. <laughs> you don't think it was glitter? <laughs> so I still have these pieces, which... go like this. <clears throat> I'll have to um, maybe something like that. Anyway, I have those strips to play with. She looks like Liz Taylor. The postcard? Yeah. <laughs> Let's see if we can actually maybe I'll actually put her in here. And then I maybe put, if I find that tape, I'd like to put a piece of tape. And then I could even use that like a little journaling uh, spot. I love this one with this, 
with the two circles. I might have to put another little circle in here. I don't know. I have to look for my... Um, and then look at her. Look at these look almost like mermaid scales. Can you see that? So when we do some jelly plating, I want to do some um, gold and I'll have to look for something like that. That looks cool. Um, but yeah. All right. So I think I'm going to keep that with these. Keep that with that. Maybe we can emboss on this. So it'll be like that. So that will go like that. That will go like that. We can uh, use vintage paper. Then I can use a stamp on here. This is a watercolor paper. Then we have the black paper. You can turn her into an Egyptian mermaid. I could. Then we have the vellum. And then the cat. All that. And then I love this. This part's the best, I think. <laughs> I'm move this one over. And then we'll flip that like that. That. I like that. And then I'll still have like a waterfall effect here. So, so that looks good. So I want to do one more signature. So I'll have to find some more things. And then I'll bind it into a, um, thanks Joan. Um, bind it into a, um, kind of like, I think I want a soft cover. I kind of want to make it look like um, in the gift, in the movie, The Gift. He goes through like a journal that's like leather bound, you know, and it's got that big leather strap. I think I want to do something like that, like a faux leather, make a faux leather part and then like, I don't know, emboss something on it. But yeah, all right, so we have that part. So we're going to do another, um, let's see, what else do I have? I have that tissue paper too. This was that tissue, tissue paper that we tried to uh, do some foil on. It didn't work too good. <laughs> um, so we'll start another signature. And we'll help for that. I have some paper that Patty gave me, that black tissue paper. Uh, where is that? Mm -hmm. What did I do with it? Okay, go. This is that black tissue paper. There. Yeah, so next week we'll do some jelly plating. I also want to do some prints for Halloween. So I've, I've been looking for uh, getting all my Halloween stuff together. So, all right, so I'm going to stick that in there, that in there. We have that together. And then let's see what else we have left of James that I didn't put in here. I'll have to put a piece of, um, what is this? Craft paper if I have it. Yeah, I do. Put the craft paper in here. This is pretty hard. I mean, it's pretty stiff, you know? I have to get be I, the only reason I is so many people are showing their Halloween things already. It's like oh, I better find out where my Halloween things are. No, oh, I'm gonna have to crease this. Look at this all bent. Yep, yeah, because I have that nice picture. Uh, remember, I did the Halloween. Hey, Carol, I did the Halloween witch with Tim's lights and then my hair, my real hair. I got to dig that album, um, the journal out. <laughs> And then we did that one where um, she was kind of looking up. She was like a skeleton kind of girl. So I have some cute things in there. And then we did some snippets, too, which I have to find. Um, it would be cool to do a snippet in this, maybe, too. It doesn't matter if it's not quite even. Oh, not bad. Not bad. So 
so we'll do um yeah we'll do some jelly plating where we'll have some egyptian things and we'll do some halloween things oh this paper is really thick Then I'll get some bigger paper for here. This will go in between some of this other one. So what else do I have left? Oh, this is the levitation one, which is like an onion skin paper. really uh nice and white though i have some onion skin too it can, it can, i don't know if you can see it looks like you can see my hand but it's very it's thin so there's that one this will be our second signature i'll have to add some more papers in between these in between these um let's see that We have this one, Back to the Fuchsia, which is a watercolor paper, 3SM, 300. And then we're going to do some, um, like, beetles and bugs. We'll do that on a jelly plate. Um, this paper is really thick, too. This is really thick. There we go. This paper is like her big journal that she has. So we'll have that. We'll have that on the outside. Then we'll put one of these. And maybe the black. And then this one. <laughs> and then we have this one. We'll also get some more vintage paper than this. So that's the start of our second one. So I still have to gather some things together. I tried to find most of it today, but I couldn't. <laughs> so, um, but yeah. So next week we will jelly plate, like I said, and we will um, do some Egyptian, some Halloween. Um, yeah. So yeah. All right. So let me. Um, I have to just reach over and get the uh, stencils for the giveaway. I'm gonna use these. So I'm gonna use these. So we'll use all that next week. I even like this one. This one I think will be really good on the jelly plate. This one is it's called Hamsa and the Sun. Hamsa. It's huge. You see how big it is? It's as big as this one page. So you love jelly? Me too. So we're gonna do that next week. Let me just go get the oops, the stencils. Hold on. Where's my version more? There's more. Second. All right. So you know how I do it? I always go one person, one person per winner or you can win only once i should say um how many are us i'm going to do one let's do one to 75 and then uh it'll be good for international uh anybody really because i just can pop these in with a stamp uh so we'll do one to 75 on this and i always put in you love those stamps <laughs> um 
So it'll be one, two, and three. I need my little folder. Let's see. And we'll do pencil. One to 75. Um, and I always go, uh-huh, that's okay. Um, I always write in the chat. You'll see it'll say, ready, set, go. So as soon as you see my go, you can put your number in. Um, and it's a person that goes closest that doesn't go over. So, and if two people have the same number, uh, you know, I'll just get those two and then we'll, we'll see how it goes. You, you guys know how it goes. <laughs> so let me get my random.org ready. Um, because I've been in enough giveaways. <laughs> oh my gosh. Does anybody do the wordle? Oh, was that the hardest one I think I've ever had to do? Oh, that was really hard today. Random dark org. There we go. And we're going to do 1 to 75. So well, it's 75. Oops, not 176, 75. All right. So, oh, I have 76, I have 75. Uh, done. All right. So, get ready. I'm going to put it in. So, let's see. I'll be ready. Yeah, it's in. So put your number in there. One to seventy-five. <laughs> One to seventy-five. And then I always pick three numbers, so we'll see what they are when we get everybody to get in. So don't worry if you have the same number as somebody else, because I'll just go. You'll be like the first, second. We'll do it like that probably. So. And I always have extra if, some, if somebody gets tied up with somebody else. So, <laughs> Dorothy, you love those high numbers, don't you? <laughs> All right, get ready. Everybody got their number in? I'll give it another 10 seconds. And then I'm going to put in stop. Last few seconds. <laughs> okay. There we go. All right. So we're going to pick the uh, first number. So you can see that. It's, so the first number is 35. 35. Then I'm going to generate another one. 72. And then the last one, 37. Oh, they always go so close. Oh, my gosh. All right. So who has... 35. CB, 35 on the button. So you get to pick first CB. One, two, or three. So this one's CB. Uh, who is closest to 72? Yeah, it's you. Tell me which one you want. One, two, or three. Uh, is it three, please? Okay, so CB will get the, bu the bugs. <laughs> Uh, so who is Cass oh, with 56 for 72? But I saw, 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 no, Devin has got 68. Wait, wait, wait. Devin, I believe, is 68. Right? Devin, yes. So, Devin, you've got choice between one or two. So, this one is Devin. And then 37, I think I saw 36. I saw, I think, Barb, right? Nobody's got 37. Devin, you want one, please. Okay, Devin's got number one. And then Barb, Barb, you will get the middle one, the one with the bubble circles. Barb. Yay! All right, so make sure you, um, I have your email, uh, CB, Devin. I think Barb, I don't think I have yours. So if you email me at scraps to beauty at AOL. 
and then I can get these out. There we go. It was fun. Okay. Yeah, so next week we'll do jelly plating. That should be fun. I'll get all my stuff out. And then uh, and then I think next week after that, if we don't do the Egyptian, we might start on Halloween. <laughs> Either one. Egyptian Halloween. <laughs> Yay. Okay, good. All right. So have a good week. I will see you guys back here on next Sunday where we'll do some jelly plating. I love my little Egyptian people. I think they came out good. <laughs> and then I will see you next week. Thanks, Joan, Dorothy, CB. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Bye. <laughs>